Oh my gosh, I am so glad you're here. I need your help. <laughs> I was just invited to a St. Patrick's Day party and look at me. I don't even have anything that's green I can wear, which means I'm going to get pinched because the party I'm going to, these people are crazy. I'll bring you along to that later. But first, let's get something green on me or else... <laughs> I was at my Dollar Tree and they didn't have any of the multi-packs of felt, but I did find this roll. So I picked that up and we're just going to need to cut this down to size. And once we do that, instead of using the honeycomb pins that I like to use all the time, I'm going to just tape it down. I don't want the fan that's in my laser to start blowing this around as it's cutting. As you can see now, it is going to be a really cool necklace while the felt is still in here. I'm just going to cut out a few more pieces for hair accessories. The hair ties are super easy. There's a little slit in the middle there and you just loop it through itself. If I were to do this again, I would probably use a thicker felt, but hey, it totally worked. And then for the necklace, I'm sure you can guess, we just tie the ends together and we are ready to go. Okay, I got a little fancied up. We got our hair ties in and our please don't pinch me necklace going on. So let's see, St. Patrick's Day, we're gonna need something interesting to be carrying around for those tasty beverages. So let's see what I can come up with next. Now I was lucky enough to find a beer stein at the Dollar Tree, but it doesn't fit my laser. That's okay, I have a plan for that. In the meantime, I'm going to use this tiny glass to etch onto instead. Since it's a bit tapered, I'm going to use this piece of cardboard to make it a bit more even and keep it in place with a little bit of tape. And then we can get to etching. Even though I don't have a rotary, because it's a small enough surface, it's going to turn out really good. But what about that beer stein? Don't worry, I have an idea. So we're going to take some glitter paper and we have to make sure it's paper and not vinyl. We never want to cut vinyl in our machines. Now we're going to put this shiny side down and make our own sticker sheets. I used the honeycomb pins to keep it down this time because we're going to use some Gorilla duct tape to make the back part of our sticker sheet so we could peel these all up really easy. It's pretty self-explanatory from here. I just need to peel off the in-between bits and now we have our little sticker sheet. It's just a question of what we are going to put these on. I'm going to put them on the mug and since they're just sticker paper, it's not really a permanent thing. These will wash off really easily. Now to prove this is paper, you can see I can just tear it right in half. It looks like paper, it is paper. We just don't want to be using the vinyl paper that is for like a Cricut or a Silhouette machine. All right, we got our tiny little glass and our big old mug, but what if I have a mixed drink and I need something to stir this with? I have an idea, let's get to the laser. I'm going to be using the super pretty green apple glitter acrylic from Craft Closet, and I know drink stirrers aren't very exciting at all, but wait, there's a twist. I cut out these little shamrocks on the middle of the drink stirrers, and of course, I'll be turning these into earrings because I just can't seem to help myself. I think we're just about ready to get to that party. Actually, I'm gonna cut one more secret thing out and then reveal it at the party. I think that's getting set up now, so let's go. So when you're at a party, you usually wanna differentiate your drink from others. That's why I made these drink tokens. You can either use them to make sure your drink is your drink or even have like a count up or a count down of how many ginger ales you've had because you know you don't want too much sugar, right? Boy, these cats sure know how to party. And oh, hey Roxy, I love your necklace. What, you made that? You got it from a file that you downloaded from my Patreon page. Well, thank you for supporting the channel. Well, I've got a whole lot more where that came from. Just like this video up in the corner. If you click it, we can keep this party going. I'll see you over there.